and welcome. This is turn five, part B, the British uh, attack on Moan. They've now made it to the right lane, but they've lost three other main battle tanks. So we have the Firefly and two Shermans. Uh, I think it's three to one for every tank in rapid fire mode, as in the equivalent of I don't want three. Yeah, five, yeah. Model vehicle and gun represent five. So if you think about that, that's 15. Yeah, 15 tanks taken out on the way up to Moen, which is here from Chucks or Cho. So that no man's land was a big issue. I keep losing track. I uh, have to keep track of the turns. Right, so. If you consider the amount of vehicles that the Allied have lost. I say the equivalency of 15 tanks. That is an awful lot of armament. And I haven't got much left in regards to fire part. I've got a three inch motor. Three inch motors. Oh, they've got the paint actually. It's in our two shots. So I've got a funny feeling it's either going to be a draw here, depending if the Germans counter attack. Right, so let's get started. So we have morale tests. Right, so is there any morale tests? The tanks are taken out, there's none damaged. So no morale tests needed. Yeah. Cranket tanks are treated on an individual basis when it comes to rapid fire load and their morale instead of Conway Wade, where the soldiers with the infantry or battalion Wade, you would do a morale test. So... Chance observation test, Guardian. We don't really need to do any. Yeah, everything that's fired has fired, so it's been seen. Smoke shields, do we need them? No, we need to fire, but take out some of them tanks. So figures, figures and vehicles are removed in close assaults. So let's see what we need to move up. The reality is there's not much you can do with this brand carrier because uh, it's carrying a three inch motor team. It does have a brain or machine gun on it, but obviously it's only going to be used when they're numbered up in the vehicle. Same as two inch. Actually that's the three inch motor. Oops. It's a two inch. It has that concentration high up, 
on the ridge, but it doesn't get the benefit of soft cover. This is not looking too good. You sort of look at the map and you think, oh, there's loads of alley left, but not really. Not going to move due to the fact that it has the attack, it's the ancient print. And in fact, I'm going to cut down with this bagage. It's going to need a track through the bagage. Yeah, so we are moving him. Right here, opening up that bagage using his tracks. I'm going to bring these guys down to the south of the inch motor. Movement done. So now we're going to not close to salt, but we are going to fire. So from the top to the bottom, artillery that's off screen. Uh, take a couple of photographs and throw them in. Let you see them. Are going to be targeting this panther because. It's very, it's basically deadly with these open troops on the ridge. And the artillery piece gonna need support. So, artillery on the Panther. I went back and when I was at it in the last video, I noticed that uh, the motors open fired in the Firefly when they should have opened up in the M3. Just I'd forgot that. Uh, that's one of the points that Robert Fire noted. If you can't remember your shots, then tough luck. You're just a bad commander at the end of the day. It's that memory and trying to remember where you're targeting. Makes a difference in the game outcome. Okay, so artillery on the Panther, next thing down is artillery still, so we have the artillery here. It's going to be firing on the Panther. Uh, mortars 3 inch on the Mark IV. So 3 inch on the Mark IV. Don't worry, I know they're uh, bolt action dice, but I uh, might as well get used to them. Uh, right, so we've got the two inch motor on Yeah, we're gonna have to look for the Mark IV again. So it's two shots in the Mark IV on the Hunter. So, what else do we have? We'll change down to the paint on the Mark IV. My God, this Mark IV is definitely getting hit more. Yep, great, just hit the camera. Okay, so that's the paint on the Mark IV also, so it's the hits. Um, let's just make our break here. These dice rolls have to be good on the Allied on the eve of D-Day. We're gonna get sent home. Uh, yeah, machine gun fire, anything else? Any rocket launchers? No. Is that something the Allied seem to focus on? Um, okay, so machine gun fire, heavy machine gun or medium. Thickers on these guys. They're not shooting through the wrong man. These guys are open. So. And then we have fire teams. Oh, no, we have this. I believe the M3 is a 
Auto cannon, is it? Or is it a Stuart 37 millimeter tank? So it's a 37 millimeter. Target class four, gun class four. It's got two VMGs, one on the hull and one on the turret, which is handy. So hot shot 37 mil on the Panther again. This is getting deadly. You know, I have loads of bolt action dice, but I for the left me, I don't know what to do. So, okay, and that then we have the fire teams and the men. On the M3 or on the 80 mm motor, these guys on this fire team on here. I know there's a guy in there, but he's hidden. 2468 on these guys here. And I'm going to pass through. It's a dice of work. It's the only way I can try and remember because when I go back and look at the videos, I actually didn't take certain shots or didn't or forgot about the shots. You don't have to mark them up. Plus it's handy when you're getting into games. If you're playing murders. You can sort of have wee rooms together. Right, so far as the carried out. We have the artillery on a Panther, two barrages. It's not moving. So, five, six, just double check. Indirect fire. Oh, radio signal. Ooh, it would have been a one, but it's not in the tray. Ah, that's a one. Fuck. Oh, excuse my French. What the flip? Reno message doesn't get through. So the next thing after the uh, artillery is the second artillery piece, which is the 57 mm on the Panther. On the time ground. Three, but let's check. Yep, class three. And this is a target class two, I believe. Yep. So we have a minus one on the attack due to the target class three, target class two. So because there's a one difference, it's a minus one to the enemy or to the person firing. So not the 12 is short range. Yeah that's definitely under 12 inches. Yep, 10. Short range. So let's throw the dice. What, what, what is going on here? First the artillery misses. How can you get angry when you're playing a solo game? <laughs> I'm getting angry at this. This is terrible. What? This, this was to make a break round for the Allied. Fuck. I suppose two. I suppose if I do the matter first. Well, two minus one for the uh, target class. So that's down to one. Plus one short range. That's two. Target's 50% concealed, but because we're upper edge, doesn't get that, doesn't get the advantage. Yeah, it's a miss. Oh my god. I thinking to myself last night, this round will probably finish it. But you should never count out the dice and messing you about. Right, so. 
we're going to lay no the pit on the Mark IV. I'm just thinking there's three on the Mark IV. What? So it's this, this. Where's the other shot? Mark oh yes, the motor. There's another one I forgot about. So the motor, Mark II. Actually, the first motor on the Panther. And then this here was on the panther, yeah. So motor fire. So two shots from a motor. Number of uh, First, see if the second of you check it see. And it does. That was a six. So message gets through. So, orders up to 60 mil, that's an 80 mil. Uh, 48, 48 inch range, so motor up to 80 mil. 46, high explosives, overhead the tank. Yeah, only put one D6 for each hit. Yeah, only a gun with a caliber of 80 mil or larger can destroy a fully enclosed armor factory. So the two inch can do deadly squat against the uh, Mark IV. So we still shot for that, but the three inch can penetrate the panther. So here we go, five sixes to hit, not moving, static. One hit. So if one hit, a six is a kill for a mortar. Let me just reach. Yeah, if target is an armor vehicle, only to 1d6. So effective kills 5 6 for a mortar. Yeah, 5 6. And we get a 4. Mortar missed. Panther, the two inch motor was on the Mark IV, can't do anything against the side. So we'll go for the P at the next one down. So the P at the time we'll go with the Mark IV, and I believe we have flamethrowers, rocket launchers, bazookas. So a P at gun class 2, maximum of 3 shots per game. Oh, here we go. Handheld anti tank weapons, plates, Panzer Feuch, Panzer Tracks, and Bazookas have a maximum range of six inches. Anti tank rifles use infantry weapon ranges. So, right, so handheld anti tank weapons, plates, Panzer Feuch, Panzer Tracks, Bazookas have a maximum range of six inches. Then, directly after that, anti tank rifles use infantry weapon ranges. The peat is an infantry weapon. Hmm, why did they put the peat in where Panzer first put uh, up to a six inch range? Then in the next line, anti tank rifles use infantry weapon ranges, which are different. That's infantry weapon ranges are. So I'm not too sure what's up with that, but if it's just a spell mistake, or I am not interpreting what's being said properly. It's probably the second one, to be honest with you. Um, so, paint on the tank, and I am taking it as an infantry weapon because it is a rifle for a rocket. And we have 11 inches, 11 and a half inches, so it's within weapon range. So, we're going for it. So, it's a gun class 2 against the target class 3. Yep. So it's a plus one. So it's a plus one. It's still day. 
face. Let's see if we hit that. Well, well, do you want to know something? Every one of them rolls, every single one was bad. There was not good rolls at all. That was a complete horrendous round for the Allied. They're going to get hammered next round if they don't start killing some of this infantry. Um, the M3 we had on the Mark IV, so no class, dark class three. Excuse me. Had a call with her, lost in between a thought. Um, where were we? We had the paint. Yeah, radio, no, there was no radio signal for paint. Did it miss or did it hit? Did, did it roll for it? We had gun class two, target class three, gets plus one. We had short, oh yeah, usual weapon ranges, so 12 inch, inches short range. Oh no. We have a choosing infantry weapon ranges. All right, so it's medium range. Okay, so medium range, six to 14 inches. Target the open, target soft cover, five, six. So here we go. Actually, it's in the open. The, because the ridge is higher up, it's shooting down. So that's going to be one, five, six. <sighs> trying, to, <laughs> trying not to curse. My God, I get let out a lot of French at this moment. That's every single shot wasted. Now we're down to small arms. Well, we're, no, we're not. We've still got the... The M3. Actually, I was doing the M3. It wasn't the paint, so maybe I've done the paint. I need to... When I watch the video again, I'll find out. Um, that's what happens when you get distracted. So we've got the M3 on the Mark IV. And it's anti-tank. Short range, 11 inches. Five, so we've got a hit. We've got uh, it's gone past four, yeah. So it has a minus one. Let's see. So gun class two against a mark four, which is a gun class target class three. Yeah, so it's a minus one actually. So it's down to four. Targets within short range gets a plus one, goes back up to five. Target moved, minus one, back down to four. Or no, the attacker moved. Just in four. Damage. Damage. I'm not playing anymore, I'm away. See you later. Make your own videos. I've had enough. <laughs> A one. What is happening here? It's D-Day. You know, it's coming up to D-Day. Where is the luck when you're bloody needed? Okay, so all misses, no damage. Germans are having that feed day, they're not having their own. These guys are idiots. Oh. There we have the victors on the uh, the uh, 80 mil. So the victors are static because he refused to move. Uh, short range, yep. Target in the open, yep. So three, four, five, six. Like MG TD6, here we go. So we need well, not short range or medium range. Hold on. I definitely need to measure this because uh, Six. 
and a half inches. I think that's just over. Yeah. It's not the six, so six to fourteen, four, five, six in the open. Yeah, I've been reading these words wrong or I just had a wee moment there when I was reading it. Uh, so select the target, work out the number D6, measure the range of the target, the same target is the open, then throw dice to see if any casualties have been caused. So I don't roll the hit. We went for three weapons by the looks of this. I just roll for kills. I've been rolling for hits and kills. So one kill. So to kill that base you need three. So, point us the thump. And also, that plate that's fired another round, so there's only one round left. Um, so, machine gun fire on the mortar team. Then you've got two fours, so two dice on a three man team. Can't do any damage. <laughs> Because it's one dice for every two men. There's four men there. So you only get a roll of two men. A roll of two dice to see if you kill a base of three men. It's not possible, so. This has been a horrendous for the alley. Horrendous. It's probably the worst round that I've played in this solo game. And there's been many. So let's say it's all done. We've got the two, four, six, eight section on the two, four, seven guys here. So that's eight, so four dice. That's just open, medium range, four, five, six, I believe. So let me just double check. So medium range. Target the open four, five, six. And we get zero, zero kills. That's one and three threes. The dice gods are not with us today. So we have two, four, six, seven against a seven. So that's two, four, six, three dice. They're in soft cover because they're behind the hedgerow. So that's, instead of four, five, six, actually they're in short range. So short, short range target in soft cover, four, five, six, here we go. Two kills. All the artillery and tanks and mortars and you name it, they all missed except for the small arms. So the Germans, which I thought would have probably got beat in the previous round, are doing pretty bloody good. So where it stands is a lot of shots fired and no damage done. Um, Yeah, the next turn is the German turn, which is turn six. They're going to remove their damage track, so we'll do it now for the next turn. So they're going to be moving and attacking. Which is basically going to map up most of that artillery, or most of the infantry. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.